Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would bring you guys along while I try to figure out what makeup to pack because I'm leaving tomorrow. I actually picked it all out the other day, but I think I went a little overboard and I just kind of want to do it again and rein myself in a little bit. Plus I decided to film a makeup collection so I put everything back, which was kind of dumb. But anyway, I did it. Um, I really wanted to kind of capture what my collection looks like after my decluttering. So I thought I would do that and kind of start over with the packing process. So this is my top drawer. It's my weekly makeup basket. So I'm probably going to bring a lot of what is in this drawer. So I'm definitely bringing these three palettes because I want to be working on them all year. It's my Lorac Pro. Hourglass and the Smashbox Blue Eyes, which is my eyeshadow palette for 2016. So I'm just going to put everything on top so then I can kind of show you at the end overall what I'm bringing. Plus I'm going to be doing my makeup tonight. It's New Year's Eve, so I am not going to totally pack everything because I want to use a few things tonight. So I'm going to bring my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil because this is my only loose powder. And I just got this Duraline. So I'm definitely bringing this because I want to play with it. And for concealer, I'm going to bring my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. And I'm going to bring my Eye Dream Hyper Light. And my Soap and Glory. Just because I don't, I don't think I'll run out of the NARS, but just in case I want to have another one. So I'm going to bring the Soap and Glory. And then the Eye Dream Hyper Light is kind of a little bit of a different thing. I don't know if I like it, so I don't want to bring just that. I feel like the other day I used it and it was just like too light under my eyes. So I'm going to experiment with that, but I'm not sure I'm going to keep it. Um, I've been using this sample, so I, there's, I don't know how much is left, but I'm going to try to use it again tonight and then it might be done for because I've used it for a few days. And then over here I have this ColourPop gel liner I'm going to bring. And I do have these two gel liner samples from Bobbi Brown, which I might as well bring those because they're not, probably not going to stay good if I leave them here. I have my Too Faced Bulletproof Brows, which I want to use up this year, so I'm definitely going to bring that. And I'm trying to use up this Professional too. And my Inglot <laughs> liner, that's my black liner. And my Well Rested from Bare Minerals, it's a powder concealer. So, like I said, yeah, I'm definitely bringing a lot from the store because this is the stuff I'm reaching for every single day. And likewise, I guess I'll just show this to you now. I have this that I keep on top of my vanity. This has all my open mascaras, um, my brow is, any liners I've been using, and I have Becca Opal up here. So, these two mascaras I'm going to put in my empties after today, and then I'm going to bring some new ones. But I'm going to bring all of these with me because I'm trying to work on them all. And I think I'm going to put my Stila Liquid Liner in my empties because I think I opened it like in January or February of last year. And it still works, but I just, it's kind of grossing me out because it's been open for so long. So I might put that in my empties, but I keep going back and forth because it still works well. So we'll see. Alright, so this is my blush drawer. And sorry if you can, you can see me over here, but I... This is one category I definitely went overboard in the first time I was trying to pack. So obviously I'm bringing my How About Them Apples palette. And I'm going to bring my ColourPop prenup blush. Because I'm trying to work on those. And this is just really hard because I have so many cream blushes I want to try to use up. But then I also want to use bring some powder blushes to mix it up with. For these... I want to work on Cobbler and Caramel, basically, um, in the next couple months, and then I guess Candy I can maybe start to work on, and I don't know when I'm coming back yet, so it's either going to be probably towards the end of March or sometime in April. My lease goes till the end of April, where I'm living for my internship, and I have to be studying for an exam, so I've been toying with the idea of just staying there until the end of my lease and studying and taking the exam there, and maybe... I've really enjoyed living really close to my best friend, so just going to maybe enjoying that a little bit longer, um, even though I will miss being here and being with my husband. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly when I'll come back, but, you know, March and April is kind of springish. I do want to pack some things that are spring-friendly. So I guess I'm t what I'm thinking about is Gerbera is a very good spring blush. 
But you know what? So is this. So I only need to bring one of those, even though I want to use as many cream blushes as I can. I really want to use this one up, and the Stila one I probably won't be able to use up, so I'd rather use up the ColourPop than make more progress on the Stila, I guess, if that makes any sense. And then I will bring my Benefit Majorette as well. So that is, you know, six cream blushes, which I guess is a lot, but I kind of don't really have a choice of how many I bring in here because they're all in there. And the two pinks I think are better for summer, but whatever. I am going to bring this because I think these are some good kind of winter spring shades, I guess. I have Deep Throat, this coral, and this kind of light lavender. So I think I'm going to go ahead and bring this. I did try to sell this, but um, I didn't sell it, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it. I'm not going to get rid of it because it was expensive. And then on top of that, I am going to bring NARS Sin just because I really missed that. And I'm not going to bring Expose because I'm bringing this palette um, because I want to use up this bronzer. So I'll have this one. So even though I don't know if I would bring that blush if it wasn't attached to the bronzer, I will have it. So I'm definitely bringing that. So I don't need Exposed. This is more of a summer blush to me, Magic, so I'm not going to bring that. This is one of my favorites, but it's more of a fall blush to me, so I'm going to leave that here. I already have Deep Throat in the palette, and this is Liberté. So right now I have three, four, five powder blushes. Which I realize seems like a lot, but I kind of want to bring my Z palette because I think I like this red powder to set the red cream blush and then this pink one. It looks pretty crazy, but it's actually a really nice spring light pink shade. So I think of that, that'll do. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have a lot of blushes. That I'm bringing, but I'm kind of using it as two categories. So I have three, four, five, six, seven powders and one, two, three, four, five, six creams. So maybe that's crazy, but <laughs> that's what I'm bringing. Um, I think I originally I was going to bring these little ones, but I don't need to do that. So and then I don't. I brought this with me last time and I never used it, so I'm just going to leave it here. Alright, so this is my eye drawer. So this is another the other area where I felt like I went a little bit out of control the first time I tried to pick everything up. So, let's see. So I'm doing my Pan That palette with my Smashbox Blue Eyes, and so I'm going to be pairing, doing a one pan, or one month, one palette type of thing with it. So every month I want to use either maybe a different collection of singles or a different palette. So I think I want to bring my Urgency in and one month I'll maybe try to incorporate these. So I only need to bring four, four things, which is what I'm going to try to stick to. So well, I'm going to bring this is my Black Orchid color tattoo because I want to use it up this year. So I kind of also want to bring Satin Taupe. So maybe I'll have these three singles as like my one month, one palette for one month. And then I'm going to leave these here. Then for these other color tattoos, I'm just, or cream shadows, I'm just going to bring Benefit Birthday Suit. And then in terms of these crayons, I'm going to bring LLC on point. I'll leave this next one because I had that with me the first round. And then I'll bring this matte cream shadow by Bare Minerals. And I'll bring this green liner. And I'm going to bring this Marc Jacobs liquid liner. And I think this was the mascara. I think that's why. Usually I keep my mascaras in a different box, but I think this one is in this box because I was thinking about bringing that one. And then I guess I don't really need... Oh, here's... I think these are the black liners I picked out in my backup eyebrow product. And this is in my Project Pain Roulette. It's a green liner, so I'm going to bring that too. So I think that's it for those things. So then the next three... I'm going to open these three starting, I guess, tomorrow. So it's They're Real, the They're Real Primer, and Roller Lash. 
So I'll probably have those open for January, February, and March. So if I do need to open anything else for April, I have my Tarte one, and I'll grab one more. I'm gonna grab, uh, I have this one up here already, Maybelline Falsies Push-Up Drama. So that should be fine for the amount of time. Maybe I'll just grab one more in case, like, the Tarte or this one is, like, dried up or I hate it. I'll just bring one more just in case, and I'll bring, I'll bring this. Uh, Mark Jacobs one. I'd rather bring too many mascaras than, you know, not have any mascara and then have to buy one when I have some in here. It's kind of my thinking for everything. That's, that's why I brought, you know, multiple black liners and stuff like that. Okay, so now for the palettes, this is going to be her thing. So I already have one. The group of singles will be my one month, one palette for one month. Then I, one of these shadows in the Lorac Pro 2 is in my Project Pan Roulette. And I haven't used this for, oh my gosh, so long. So I think this will be it for another month I will have this in there. Maybe the first month, because um, I just want to hit pan on it. It's the jade shade, so maybe this will be for January. And then hopefully maybe I can hit pan in the first month or, you know, get close <laughs> and then I'll move on to something different so one thing I'm really struggling with is if I want to bring my good Stefani palette because I love it so much but like I'm I'm afraid something bad will happen to it if I bring it I don't know why I have this fear but that is just a fear that I am dealing with so we'll just put it right here so this is my Urban Decay mini naked 2 that I made and I'm not gonna bring this because I have a dupe for pistol in my Smashbox palette and I feel like lots of palettes have this light color and this cool brown so I'm not going to bring this even though I really really love it but I am going to bring I'm going to bring my natural matte palette from Too Faced I love this palette I'm so thankful that Nikki was nice enough to send this to me because I'm in love with it and I don't think I would use this as a one month one palette with my Smashbox but I think I, this is just a great thing to have when I need a matte shadow because there are three like matte satiny shades in the Smashbox Blue Eyes palette but there, there isn't like a light one like this and like cooler like I just might need to use this in conjunction with it. So this is going to kind of just be like a supplement and I don't think I will use it as the one month one palette thing. So I will bring that too. So, so far I have two for the one month one palette so I need two more. Okay, so like I said, I need two more palettes. So I'm not going to bring Stila or It Cosmetics because those are both matte palettes and I only need to have one with me. Um, I am going to bring the Laura Mercier palette because I haven't gotten to use this a lot. I bought it when I dropped off my husband. Um, after I dropped off my husband at the airport when he moved to Scotland, uh, I went to Sephora to return something and they had one of these left and I think it was during the VIB sale and I just kind of I'm super tempted. So this has some nice purpley shades, so if I want to go for some colors to use with my very neutral Smashbox palette, I think this will be nice for another month. So now like, I'm allowed to bring one more. So I have a Makeup Revolution. I used that a lot though before I, towards the end of my stay, when I, with in conjunction with my um, Rock Pro, so I think I'll leave that one there and then I'm not going to bring the crazy electric palette colored one. So I have my NARS Dual Intensity, my Rock Sequel, the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone, and Urban Decay Pulp Fiction. So I'm definitely leaving Pulp Fiction here. Just don't want to look at that for a while. So I'm going to go ahead maybe I'll bring this one because these are all really shimmery and it might be fun to use this a little more. I also kind of want to bring this one. because I really love this. Okay, I think I'm going to I'm gonna leave this one here and then just bring the NARS. So I still have a crazy amount of palettes. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm basically only bringing the Lorac Pro original because I am have black in my pan, that, or pan, Project 10 pan. And so because I have so many, I, I am going to bring, oh my gosh, I can't believe, I'm going to leave my Gwen Stefani palette here. 
But you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder, doesn't it? No, I don't know if it does. Okay, I'm gonna decide between this and the NARS one maybe. So I'll put it up in the top and we'll, we'll think about it in the back of our mind while we go through our lip products. Okay, so I moved the camera, so I think I'm gonna sit down here on the floor. So hopefully you can still hear me and everything. So, I have this bag that I'm gonna put my lip products in. So this is gonna be maybe like the limiting factor, I guess. So I wanna bring all four of my Bite Beauty lip crayons because I miss these a lot. I've been wearing them a lot this month. I'm gonna bring this LOC by Tati Glam Life because I've been loving this as well. But that one is actually very similar to Winterberry. Nope, I'm gonna bring Winterberry too. But I'll leave Cur Royale here, how about that? Um, <laughs> those three are just all very similar, so. What else? I think I'm going to leave my NARS ones here because I brought those with me for my first round of being gone. I'm going to bring... Definitely bringing NARS Jane. And then I'm going to bring Moody Margot. I might wear this tonight though so I'm not going to put it in this bag actually. I'm going to bring my Lipstick Queen Possess Sheer Bet Noir. I'll leave Curve Royale here and Marc Jacobs Magenta because those are really similar colors to Winterberry and Glam Life. I'm going to bring Liar and Milani Matte Naked. And I'm going to bring Nars Tonkin and Enchanted One and Viva Glam 2. These are nudes. And I want to bring one of these lipstick queens. I want to bring my new one, but I also feel like I should bring one of my older ones so I can get more use out of an older one. So I think I'm going to bring Medieval, and then I'll get to play with that when I get back. I really like it. It's a really great everyday shade, but I want to work on older things first. So, let's see. I don't have a lot of reds in here. I don't wear a lot of reds, though, so I'm going to grab this liquid lipstick in Fiery. I'm going to grab Cruella. And then I'm gonna gra grab these two lip glosses because they might want to work on these. And I'll bring one of these. I'll bring Petal because I used up a rose earlier this year. Might as well mix it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring these four lip liners and a lip primer. And this. Okay, I'm done. I don't know where the lid for Frida went, guys. I, because I had it in the bag when I packed the first time. And then I realized it was gone, but I haven't seen them anywhere. And it's not in the bag. Okay, so that's it. And then I have this other lip balm I'm working on. And I'll bring one backup lip balm, like a regular not tinted one. So I'll bring this one. So yeah, this is definitely less full than it was last time. It's still very full and way more than I need, but... And then I'm going to bring this as a backup. And for our primers, I'm just going to bring Baby Spin. And I'm going to bring this powder since I'm trying to use up my Neutrogena one. And that's my backup. And then all we have left is foundations. I already did nail polish. I'm not going to film that, so I think I'm bringing, bringing my CoverGirl 3-in-1, which is up on my desk, so you'll see that in a minute. So my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. I just got this sample of a tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier as a point perk, so I'm going to bring that, give that a try, and then that should be fine, but I'm also going to bring this CC cream because I was going to declutter this, but I'm kind of giving it another chance. So, I don't think there's a ton left in it, actually. I might just use it up. So yeah, so that is everything. So let's move the camera and look at how we did. Okay, so it's still kind of a lot. 
but I think I did better than I did originally. I think I had some more palettes in there. So I guess all I have to do is decide between the NARS and the Gwen Stefani. And I had the NARS with me, so I'll just bring the Gwen Stefani. It won't break. It'll be fine. So, let's see. I have the Rock Pro, the Pro 2, Smashbox Blue Eyes. Let's see. The Rock Pro, Pro 2, Smashbox Blue Eyes, Laura Mercier, Too Faced, and Gwen Stefani. So, six. So, I think that's okay. And then, I have a lot of blushes, but I'm going to be put using a cream and a powder blush every day. So, instead of thinking about it as having six creams and seven powders, let's just think about it as, you know, if you, one powder goes with every cream, that's just six, and that's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. So, overall, I think this is okay. I'm going to be there less amount of time than I was the first time, so I don't really know how this compares to how much I brought the first time, but... I am pretty happy with this, and I am bringing a little bit more than I probably need to if I wasn't doing a one month, one palette type thing, but I'm happy to be able to play with more eyeshadows. So yeah, so that is everything um, in my three to four month-ish makeup collection. And yes, I know it's more than most people own, but for what I did, I think I did pretty good, because if you look in here, there's so many lip products in here, so many eyeshadows, I think I brought less than half, so... I'm happy with that. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!